A small circle A is rolled around the circumference. Let's write this down. We know this information from our answer sheet. Circumference equal to 2 pi r of a larger circle B as shown in the figure. Circle A starts here and ends here. It makes two complete rotations from here to here. Okay. If the ratio of the areas of A to B is 1 to 25, what is the value of x in degrees as we see by this degree symbol here? All right, let's break this down. How can we figure out this at all, right? Where do we start? Take a second, see if you can solve this for yourself. All right, well, we're going to start with the radii, okay? If we want the area to increase by a factor of 25, we want the radius to increase by a factor of 5. Why? Because that factor is going to be squared to get us our new radius, right? And, of course, the square root of 25 is just 5. And we can see this here. Let's say we call A's radius 1 and B's radius 5, right? We would have A is equal to pi times 1 squared, which is equal to pi. And then we would have B is equal to pi times 5 squared, which is equal to 25 pi, right? This is clearly a ratio of 1 to 25. All right. So let's just keep these ratios constant. We'll have 1 here and we'll have 5 here. And I'll show you why it doesn't really matter which numbers we choose as long as they're a factor of 5 apart in the radii. But we'll do that at the end. Anyhow, what we want to do is we want to see how far this one's going to travel and what fraction of that is the entire circle. So to do that, we're going to use the circumference. So the circumference of A is equal to 2 pi times R, which is 1. And the circumference of B is equal to 2 pi times the radius, which is 5. Okay. This is 10 pi. This is 2 pi. But we're going around twice. So it's traveling this distance, right? It's traveling this distance to get to here, and then it's doing it again. So the total distance traveled is 4 pi units. We don't really know what these units are, we just know what they're units. So it travels 4 pi units. And the circumference of this is 10 pi units. Right? And we don't need to really continue writing units, so I'm just going to kind of cross them out now. Okay? We know that the fraction of the circle, the fraction of the circle here then, is 4 pi over 10 pi, right? Because this is the total, this is the total circumference, and this is the amount that we went around the circumference. The pi is canceled, we get two fifths. So two fifths of 360 degrees, all right, because our degrees are, are always, you know, we always need to have a ratio of 360 degrees in a full triangle. So we went around two fifths. How much, how many degrees would that be? All right. So we need this bottom number here to be 360. So let's say 360 divided by 5, right, to find our scale factor. Okay, we can put this in here, so we get 35, we have 10. So our scale factor here is 72. So let's multiply the bottom and the top of this fraction by 72. And we're going to get 144 over 360. So let's put this in degrees. All right, this is 144 degrees of 360 degrees, which is our full circle. Therefore, x is equal to 144 degrees. And now I'm going to show you why it doesn't matter what our radius is, regardless of the fact that it is a ratio of 1 to 5. All right? Let's say that we're just going to use a variable here. This is going to be r. This one's going to be 5r. All right? What we're going to get then is we're going to get 2 pi r. And over here, we're going to get 10 pi r. And again, when we make that ratio here, right, and we have to multiply this 2 still. All right? we're, going to, we're going to still get 4 pi r over 10 pi r. And these guys are all just going to cancel. We're still going to get that 2 fifths number. So it doesn't really matter what the radii of these circles actually is. But it just matters that they're, you know, a factor of 5 apart in the radii. 